What's the importance of an oil deaerator? An oil deaerator can prevent your system from becoming what is called airbound, which happens when air gets into the system. If air gets into the system, it can become trapped in the pump. This causes the oil level in the pump to drop, causing the pump to go out on safety. This would lead to a 3 a.m. call where you bleed the pump, everything works fine, you leave, and a few days later you're going back to the job for the same problem. How does air get into the pump? On a single pipe system, one way is to draw a high vacuum on a liquid, or six inches of vacuum would be considered enough. This outgasses the oil. What is outgassing? Outgassing is the release of embedded gases by a heating or a vacuum. Think of a bottle of champagne. When the cork is removed, bubbles appear. That's an example of outgassing. There are several ways that air bubbles can get into the system. The most obvious way is if there's a leak. But in a sealed, perfectly working system, a clogged filter could be the culprit. More vacuum is drawn in the area between the filter and the pump. That small area can draw out the gases from the oil. Another way is when the system is built. Vacuum is inherently built into the system. For every 10 feet of lateral run, you have an inch of vacuum. For every foot of lift, you have an inch of vacuum. For every fitting or device, you have an inch of vacuum. All this could add up to five or six inches of vacuum easily. The Sid Harvey oil deaerator is easy and affordable to install. By installing a bypass plug in the pump, you gain the advantage of a two-pipe system, a greater lift capacity. But now, the return oil goes to the deaerator. Let's take a closer look at the oil deaerator. The bypass line comes in here. The line coming in from the tank comes in here. The third line is the line that feeds the pump. A big advantage of our deaerator is its three float design. There's a primary chamber with two floats, the deaerating chamber. A secondary chamber is designed to prevent any foam from escaping if the deaerator becomes over aerated or over foamed. Another advantage of the unit is that it's B100 compatible, eliminating concerns with biofuels, regardless of the percentage you may have in your area. This unit reduces cold oil problems by preheating the oil. The return line going back to the deaerator picks up the latent heat from the pump and the temperature of the room air. This deaerator has simple construction, meaning more reliability, no diaphragms, just a simple throttling valve on the bottom. A built-in check valve allows the ability to hook multiple appliances on one suction line, using a single deaerator per appliance, without worry of one appliance pulling the oil from the other. This design allows for higher capacities, with a maximum capacity of 58 gallons per hour. This is a combination of return oil and nozzle capacity. Let's take a look at how the unit works using our demonstration model. Let's run the system. As you can see, the unit is operating properly and running 100 PSI. Now let's introduce a restriction into the system. The vacuum's climbing and foaming appears. Deaeration of the oil is occurring inside the pump cavity. The deaerated oil in the pump cavity is pumped back into the deaerator. Let's take a closer look inside the deaerator. We start to see foaming inside. For a more dramatic demonstration, we'll introduce some outside air. This deaerator with its three float design can easily process about four quarts per hour. Simplicity, affordability, reliability. The Sid Harvey Oil Deaerator. One pipe installation, two pipe performance.